Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we are drinking Rice Krispie Boy out of Westbrook Brewing Company in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Thanks for joining us. Boy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. And that is what we are here to do. If you're still watching, we appreciate it. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. What are we drinking today, boy? <laughs> it's crispy, boy. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. <laughs> it is a Japanese rice lager, or an American rice lager, excuse me, um, styled after Japanese rice lagers out of Westbrook Brewing Company, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. All right, boy. The great mountainous state of South Carolina. Yes. You just returned from there. Yeah. So long ago. How many mountains did you see? Saw some gators. Did not see mountains. No mountains. Gators and elite communities. Was that a corporate sponsored trip? Popped up here in corporate? Oh, no. No, no, no. Not this guy. I didn't know if you were like employee of the month or something for Hopped Up Beer Review and you want a trip. <laughs> Not according to our, our shorts status. This is correct. Oh, wow. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers mate. Up in there, Jay. <laughs> you really get the marshmallow flavor. So it's a rice lager with marshmallows. I mean, the aroma is like. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this is 5% rice lager it's kind of like a macro slash a junk lager with their additives instead of like corn or they use rice usually with a drier finish similar to like an asahi is is like a japanese rice lager this is actually a collaboration beer with eight eighth state brewing company it's a nano brewery in greenville south carolina i couldn't find they were not talking much about themselves it's it, it, it was kind of an interesting the website it was they sell things and then like stuff non-beer stuff on the site and i don't know if they are also a ticketing service for events it was uh not very straightforward but westbrook brewing company which this is distributed from uh, it's a regional brewery out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. It was uh, started in 2010. Their website did not give much information mm. about them, and I couldn't find any <laughs> any more elsewhere. But I went to the Frequently Asked Question page, and the biggest thing that was all over the page was something about their Mexican cake. Oh, it's and, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, this Mexican <laughs> cake beer is an imperial stout that's mm -hmm. released in May. That's what all the FAQs were about. And then they have a barrel aged Mexican cake, and but they have a series of them in different styles of barrels and, and other additives in there. And that's released in November. And I think that's I had their, their, they had an anniversary stout that I had over the weekend. Um, that was delicious. It was a barrel aged uh, chocolate marshmallow with uh it was actually i think it was not marshmallow it was chocolate and sea salt and it was fantastic it was like their 11th anniversary stout in in one of the supersized bottles most of their mexican cake comes in the big bottles uh yeah. we get it on draft and the mexican cake is is known because it's got the cocoa nibs and it has uh spice in it too so a little bit of pepper um really good I'll, I'll try and get that for us but they also known for a series that they do 
um, of IPAs. They do, um, they'll have what, what they call one clause, like their pale ale, two clause, their IPA. They have one called Santa Claw uh, that they put out at uh, Christmas time. So those are their, their IPAs typically. Now, ben, will you put up your beer? Because it is much paler than the screen is showing. Yeah. It is yeah. a very pale looking beer. Very, there. very pale. You know, kind of almost like an off white color, uh, but in between white and yellow. But yeah, very, very, very pale. Yeah, their their anniversary stouts were fantastic. I I remember also had one that was like a chocolate or it was a peanut butter hazelnut. Um, More peanut butter beers, yeah. Yeah, this um, was actually provided by Dwandy, another one, another Dwandy beer. Uh, he Dwandy. paid me, he paid me in beer for services rendered. So I got crawling up in his attic at his place to help him out with things. And then, and then so, helped him install links and, and other stuff. So, it, so even handy, when you're not in your own attic, yeah. you're going to other attics. So, Maybe, you know, yeah. I haven't mentioned this in a while. I want to bring it back around just to make sure all the viewers are <laughs> more aware. attic tours. Don't attic say tours it. are still available. <laughs> uh, they you just come up, you ring Andy's door, he yeah, shows you the yeah. attic. Any, it's like Graceland, too. Anytime, day or night, anytime, yeah, day or night, <laughs> you just let him know you want to see the attic and you can come get a tour. Uh, we, we've contemplated, you know, doing some kind of like online thing where you can kind of just kind of spin around and look at it yourself. But uh, we really think that would take away from the experience. Uh, and we really like the idea of Andy being woken up at 3 a.m. for an attic tour. So we're not going to do that um, just yet. Very interesting. Uh, but thanks to Dwandy uh, thanks for, to plug for the beer. Else, yeah. For sure. So. All right, has uh, Jay? So you mentioned some other beers that you've had from there. Have you have you had this one? Mm -hmm. Yes, he has, because he had it just like yesterday or the day before. Uh, wow, wow! All right, uh, again, he's had it. He's had it before, and he's like, oh, "I'm going to have it again." He he. For some reason, Andy, you and I like to wait for the show to have the beer. Jay's like, I don't like surprises. I want to know ahead of time what I'm getting into. No, it wasn't that I was running low on beer in the fridge and it was like i have 50 show beers in here but i only have two <laughs> regular i beers. mean 50 show beers that, that's a real that's a real problem to have isn't it you know yeah. 50 beers that are we do there. have quite a lot <laughs> we got oh, yeah, sure all right I'm, I'm gonna jump in there uh with this one um man marshmallow uh, the only thing it's really missing from a rice krispie treat is the sugar for me um it's not it's not really that sweet uh, but that marshmallow flavor kind of edges towards some sweetness mm -hmm. so it, it man it's, it's unlike anything i've had before in a beer uh and i want to say and i could be wrong but i want to say you hand this to me blind and ask me, what does it taste like? I think the marshmallow I'm going to pull out. I'm not going to say a Rice Krispie Treat necessarily, but definitely that marshmallow is, is so strong in there that that uh, it's really easy to pick out. Um, overall, I think the beer is, is it's crisp. It's flavorful. I mean, the marshmallow, I, <laughs> I don't ever remember having a marshmallow in a beer. And it it's, it, it they do it good. I mean, it, it's, it's, I think it's a, a, I think it's a good addition to a beer. I think it's very interesting in a rice lager, but I get, you know, kind of where they're coming from and what they put it together and calling it a rice crispy treat more or less. Um, all that being said, uh, it's flavorful. It's tasty. I could drink this again. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think it's, it's somewhat of a novelty, um, but uh, it's also good at the same point. We did have a marshmallow and a beer. Don't you See, recall again, throwing I, I, yams? It yeah. was the uh, it was like a sweet potato casserole beer, and it had uh, 
It was like old. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> it was a long you taste yeah. marshmallow. Because you had the marshmallow, the hands on the can and the marshmallows in the air yeah. with everything else. No, you're right. You're right. But you could not pick out marshmallow in that like you could in this. And this, and I'll just segue into my own scoring and reviewing this. It is, uh, it, it's a marshmallow beer. They should have just said marshmallow beer. And because you don't think Rice Krispie Treat, I mean, maybe you could if you'd eat enough Rice Krispie Treats and then, but. I am thankful that it's not too sweet. I don't like too sweet of beers. Um, I don't mind the marshmallow. It's not offensive. It doesn't really amplify it and make me think this is an incredible beer. It's just uh, it's a novelty beer. Uh, it's something fun to, to log and drink. And I would definitely have it again if somebody was like, hey, you know, I brought this, uh, this beer. Let's drink it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have a Rice Krispie Boy. So... Somebody says, "Hey, boy, I got you a rice crispy boy." It's like, bring the marshmallow. Boy. So, yeah, it's really not bad. It tastes like a marshmallow lagery beer or marshmallow macro beer. But I agree, Ben. Uh, I'll give it a seven, uh, almost a seven and a half. So, I'll drink it some more. I think I got one more. All right, Jay. What say you? Um, I love Westbrook as a as a brewery. I'd love to visit there. Uh, I've always been impressed with the stuff that they put out from their their claw series to their stouts that they put uh, their anniversary stouts and the Mexican cake and the variants on that. Um, this one was new to me. Uh, they actually do some good sours too, Ben. You like sours and then pastry stouts. Um, or or pay i think the last one i had was a pastry sour um but uh yeah it, this is heavy heavy marshmallow um and i'm not a huge rice lager fan um i don't know what it is it's just I, i've never been big into them um i it, to me it's it's drinkable but i'm not going to drink more than one of these um I, I give it the, the same as Andy. It's a seven for me. Yeah, I think an uh, interesting note that I just want to add here. I, I'm not a big fan of marshmallow. Like marshmallow is not a f- flavor that I actually really, really like all that much. Um, you know, my kids I don't like, either. To, like to take a marshmallow and just eat it. Mm-hmm. And I, I cannot do that. I, I can't stand them. I mean, if it's cooked into something, you know, you get it on mm-hmm. – here in the South, you put it on some sweet potato casserole, you know, that I can handle. Um, but that's about it for me. Um, but I, I think it's, it's muted enough in this beer that, you know, I, I know it's marshmallow, the marshmallow flavor comes through, but it's not off putting for me. That's pudding, not pudding. pudding. Um, so yeah. You're more of a hard candy sweetness kind of guy. Give me a hard candy Christmas, uh, Dolly Parton. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That is going to give us a 7.2 for the Rice Krispie Boy. Uh, from where I, I where you, well, you, you, you just did it. So you just did it from <laughs> Westbrook. <laughs> Westbrook Brewing out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Um, novelty. Fun beer, you know. I can't get it going there. You can't even do it, huh? Come on. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna wrap, you gotta you gotta throw up the aroma hands. <laughs> right. The aroma oh hands. goodness, this one's uh just end just it. End um it. Yeah. <laughs> uh check it out. It's a fun beer. Uh be sure to like subscribe, cheers that notification bell. If you made it this far and you like what we're doing here, please do that. Uh check us out on social media. Come say hey in Discord. Tell us about your favorite Rice Krispie beer um, because there's so many out there. Uh, For Andy in the Attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Mates. Bye.